Hello. Hello, hello. Turnip boy robs a bank. Okay. Consult a doctor before playing. Now then, I do... I'm sorry, nothing to do with the warning as such. What I do like is the fact that you've given me the option of saying when I'm ready to move on <coughs> the press any button unlike uh, other developers who just like to put something relevant to the screen about that fucking big or wall the text and by the time I've read three words it's gone really fucking bugs me so uh, press any button Okay. Oh, I've got to press something. Okay, I've just pressed A. Have I played Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion before? No, I've never heard of it. You should go back and experience it, but I won't stop you. Good, good. Thanks for that. Now... Which, st which play style would you prefer? You can change this at any time. Play style A, play style B. A more casual, ah, right. A more casual experience. Tougher battles and harder enemies. Let's go for a casual experience. Yeah, be careful. It's my first time. Excellent choice, of course. You're now ready to begin, am I? Farewell. Our paths will likely cross again soon. Yeah. Oh my god. Graffiti games. I'm sure I recognise that graffiti font. Okay. In the club. Turn it, boy. Robs a bank. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Options. See if there's a anything I need to change crosshair screen shake uh, controls auto fire dead so there's no invert uh, y access okay audio master ambience music sounds okay well youtube doesn't seem to be or any video platform doesn't seem to have that much of an issue with music anymore whereby they blank it out not that i've noticed not that i know what youtube is i just made that up okay let's go dedicated to toast the queen of fort badass two days after killing a god okay one day after a civil war that broke out as a result Oh, is that my phone? <coughs> so that's somebody called Dilatini. It's like a dill. Hey, is this a bad time? Turn it by just doesn't say anything. There's three dots, which I don't know what that means. I got a job for you, not I. I, I got a job for you. A big one. Come meet me if you want the deets. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Where am I? My general direction is right. Yeah, just walk right. Click. So we have to walk 
right, walk with the left stick, walk right. So that means walk left. Always walk back in the opposite direction in case there's any surprises or secrets or little, little hidden things. Okay, so this kind of noise. Uh, A doesn't do anything X, doesn't do anything Y. B triggers left buttons, controllers up or down. Ah, okay. Not too difficult so far. Is that a flying saucer? Oh, here he is. Dilatrini. I can't work out what happened there. Up on your feet, turnip head. We got business to discuss. We've got business to discuss. I got that wrong. You're probably wondering why I called you here. Yeah. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The turnip chinos owned by your father, Don, and the pickled gang have been fighting forever. I don't break. Uh, I don't break tradition easy, and I can see in your beady, unchanging eyes that you don't trust me. Just hear me out. Turnip head. Ever since you defeated that egomaniac Mayor Onion, yeah, the onions can fuck off. Veggieville has fallen to ruin. There's war. Infighting, tax fraud. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. There's only one thing to do at a time like this, and that's to use this opportunity to make money. Your, your resume of killing a god, I thought it was resume for some reason then. Your resume of killing a god and arguably the bravest thing you've done Comet tax evasion makes you the perfect turnip for the job we need your fighting skills on this one if we're going to rob the biggest bank in the world what do you say kid family tradition who cares about that nonsense let's just make that bag and get rich you know what do you say do you want to follow in your father's footsteps? Take a job you didn't even ask for. Or do you want to make a name for yourself, turnip head? I know what I would do. Oh. All right. Okay. The next morning. All right, turnip head. Roman a bank is serious business. I'm glad you decided to work with the Pickled Gang, but I run a tight ship here, so I ain't gonna tolerate no incompetence. I'm not starting this again with some funny accent. We gotta train you up proper, or we're all gonna end up sleeping with the fishies. So learn how to use them stubby legs of yours, and come talk to me when you're ready to shape up. Capiche? Ah, oh, yeah, this is what I love. I love nothing more than putting a game on uh, and then ended up reading a book. Walk with the left stick. Okay, so that, what is that? It's like a sword. Talk to Dilatrini with A. You want to know how to extract some dough from the locals? you got to walk up to these dummies and shake them down. Make them rain their riches. Walk up to the three dummies and shake them down with A. Okay, so the three dummies. Right, that must be them then, is it? Here we go. Press A. <laughs> Literally shake them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, brilliant. Genius. Word on the street is that twin number two shoved a piece in a dummy. What? Word on the street is that twin number two shoved a piece in a dummy. Go
go beat the crap out of it and grab it. Oh, aim with right stick and attack with right trigger. Got you. Ah, so ah, there's a gun. Pick up the weapon with A. I have. Shoot the two dummies with right trigger. Okay. Pow. Oh, pow. You gotta get used to your full kit turnip head. Get a feel for switching up your weapons. You may need to switch it up on the fly while we are in. Oh, got to feel it while we're in there. Okay, switch weapons with X. So if I go there. You remember how you landed on your face last night? No. You know, how you tripped and ate dirt like a sap? It might come in handy when dodging the fuzzies bullets and getting past them lasers. We gotta test you in it on it though. Twin number two, hit the lasers. No, right. Trip through the laser with LT to talk to twin number two. Alright, so if I do that. Got you, okay. <clears throat> you did great, Tamshi, tripping through those lasers like a pro. What, you think the photog <coughs> What, you think the botanical bank is gonna rob itself? Forget about it. Get in the truck. We got work to do. Interact with the truck with A. Uh, so, trip. That's twin number one, is it? Twin number one. I can't believe after all these years we're working with Turnip Chino, a Turnip Chino, the son of the Don, no less. You better keep yourself on your toes. We're watching you. Yeah. All right, who's this? Annie. Hiya, Turnip Boy. Surprised to see me here. Well, not particularly. Yeah, Dilatini wrote me into this. He's giving me way better funding than Mare Onion was. Some of our scientists are always looking for the mob. Working for the mob? Looking? Ha ha. Ha. Uh. Who's this? Robo Raphael. Raphael part Robo now. It's come with perks. Raphael now have portable gym. Made from own Robo Bones. Robo Bones. Train hard, boy turnip. You will need it. Okay. Stinky, right. What's this? A turnip with a gun. Daring to break into my beautiful establishment on this fine day. Ah, not just any turnip. The son of the old Don Turbid Turnip. <laughs> Fuck off. The son of the old Don Turnip Chino in the flesh. I see you're trying to live up to that fool's legacy. I wonder what he could he would think about you working with that low life pickle. It's cute that you think you can waltz in here and mess with me and my crew. You've got gumption. I'll give you that. But that ain't gonna hold up in here. I've got the fuzz wrap round my little garlic chin hairs. <laughs> Just gotta hit one button to make the call. What's this? You've jammed the airwaves. You're in a world of hurt now, Turnip. You better be ready when that jammer's timer goes off. The fuzz will be swarming when that timer beeps its last 
bop. Fucking hell. Remember my name, Turnip? Stinky. Stinky, sorry. The bank manager that's going to put you behind bars. Now made like a banana and get out of here. Can't read what was said. Can't read what he said. Can't fucking read what he said. Twats. Right. Don't know what I'm doing. Right. All right, that's me smashing through the wall. Fucking stand there. Right, so is this like Legend of Zelda type thing where you hit pots and I'll just fucking hit everything then, shall I? Oh no. That's somebody I gotta talk to. Hollow Annie. The intel I've gathered says that Stinky has allowed these art artisans in here to spruce up the place. Us food folks seem to be going through our renaissance era. The old world did as well. So exciting. I'm just hitting stuff. Right. Interact. Oh yeah. Raining cash. Does this stop? I have no idea. So let's have some coffee while I wait. Ah, do you know what I'll do? I'll actually, if I move the camera, then you can see that whatever it is you feel like you need to see up in the corner. So what, ah, right. So I just press A to stop that. Ah, oh, right. Ah, oh, okay. So I should have perhaps been hitting everything. Oh, fuck. Right, is this somebody I talk to? Construction beat. Well, of course. Hey, easy there, Robber. I'm standing here. Oh, yeah, blank expression. Oh, you think you could just waltz around here all willy-nilly, huh? Old Stinky wanted me to put in a new wall, but all we had were these wimpy statues. <laughs> I ain't moving them, so if you're gonna... So if you're trying to get through, you gotta break them. Good thing you don't have a pickaxe. Right. Destroy the Stinky statues with the pickaxe. Yeah! Right, who's this? Oh! I kill him as well? No? Ah, what if I... Okay, I didn't do anything. Oh, who's this now? Starfruit! Hello! Oh, this painting? Yeah, it's of a famous streamer. Her name is Slay Queen 32 Right. Wait, you know her? She commissioned me for this painting. She's going to have it in her background for her stream setup. I'm a huge simp. Same. I will say, though, she's been a little quiet ever since I started finalising the design. Do you think you could talk to her about my payment? I'm just a little nervous. i got fucking side quests in the middle of a bank robbery now. Ah... Uh, I'm a little nervous, and you know her, so it would be easier for you to do it, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, someone's got a gun. Haha, <laughs> up yours. Smash. Who's this now? Oh, shit. The police are coming. Blueberry, we're watching you. Okay. I interact with that. 
kill the snail, kill whatever that is. Let's try and get. I, I, I... Oh, who's this now? Acorn! How do you like my property? I think it's very nice and cozy. Shit. Fucking point of that. I've got 30 seconds to work out what the fuck I'm doing. Money raining down. Oh, a lift. Oh, get these, get these. Hang on. Talk. Construction beat. This year is where we're expanding the bank. Stinky wants a ton of new space to hoard his treasure. There's a loitering hooligan acorn over there. we got to tell him to hit the road. How do you like my property? Why aren't we telling him to hit the road? Let's try shooting him. Nope, he seems to have gotten some sort of shield. Annie. Hiya, Turnip Boy. Turnip Boy says, fuck all as usual. I've been studying the floor plans of the Botanical Bank and I've learned that these elevators are special. Okay. See, these elevators lead to completely random rooms. It seems like the bank's security system is wired to swap them out whenever someone breaks. In. I think this means we're going to have to rob this place several times to get the full picture. So grab what you need and escape in the truck to get this place to reshuffle. Okay, I got five seconds to get to the truck, which I'm not going to do because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Help. Help the fuzzier. Fuck off. Get off me, fuzz. I'm sure it's over here somewhere, isn't it? No, it's not. Where the fuck is that gone? Get off me, pig. Right. No! Killed by a rabbit. What was that fart noise? All right, rookie. Let me give you the lowdown. Come on over here. Ah, oh, okay. You pull it in, rookie numbers, rookie. We've got to sweep every inch of this bank. Okay. Being stuck in that pickle jar as long as we had... Right, say again. Being stuck in that pickle jar as long as we had been... Re as long as we had been really changes your perspective on things. Turn your head. We learned a valuable lesson. The lesson being sometimes you need to steal to get what you want. This is the last big job, Turnip Head. Stinky has the vaults of all vaults somewhere in the Botanical Bank. We have to find the mysterious mother load to make this whole thing worth it. To be able to put all of this behind us. Go deeper and see what you can find. Right, this time it's Annie. Hiya, Turnip Boy. Come here for a second. I got something that should come in handy. So we're, we're still in the bank. Okay. All right, she's over here. Okay. Welcome to my new lab. Dilatini, give me a good deal for getting you guys on the dark web. On the computer over there. So make sure to buy anything you need from it. Uh... From what Dilatini, uh, Dilatini has told me, we'll be using your money to pay for these things. Dilatini says we've got a tight budget. Hey. Go find out the dark web and see if there's anything you can that can be of use. Access the dark web on Annie's computer. Here we go. Oh, a pickaxe. I've got $380 and they want 1.5k. A haunted brick. Uh, a laser pointer. I literally can't buy anything. Among them too. 
Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Now that everything's broken beyond repair, you can enjoy staring at this blinding blue box in the hopes that things will somehow get better. The dark web task complete. Yeah, me. Right. Robo Raphael keeps saying we're making financial gains when we should be making physical ones. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that means either. I suppose it doesn't matter. More money for us when we're totally, absolutely, for sure, split the end profit. Yeah. We'll be making the real gains when we find Stinky's secret stash. Stinky's secret stash, right. We need to get deeper into the bank first. Make sure you're talking to the locals to get the scoop on what's happening. And don't forget to go on the dark web if you need anything to brute. Force your way through. So I can't. So just. Does this person die? Uh, okay. Um. So this is a gang warehouse, is it? All right, what's this? Twin two. All right. Hello, Tamshi. Good of you to stop by. As you know by now, my brother and I are notorious weapon dealers. I didn't know that. Okay. We supply for all catastrophes of life. Wars! Raids, heists, you name it, we cover it. Uh -huh. I'm currently setting up shop. Come back to see our selection later. Okay. Yeah. We we shall see. So if I just take this and just see if I can go back into the bank. Yep. Smash straight through the door. So I got literally three minutes. Kill that. Oh. Oh. Shake. Shake the whatever that is. Asparagus. What's this? Shake that. Something cowering by her. Ah, oh, just shake that as well. Um, so what happened to the 300 odd that I had just a minute ago? Oh, that's the uh, hologram. Uh, oh. Uh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pickaxe. Something, something, something. Yeah, get that. Ow. I can't use the lift, though. Oh, I can use the lift. Ah. Right. Elevator operator. I used to be a kick-flipping, reckless, young individual like yourself. Now I stand here protecting these elevators with my life. That's what I'm trained to do. I dabble in tourism as well. Come back to me if you want little facts about these rooms. <coughs> okay. On the phone. Hey, turn to bed. Based on our intel, you can't trip over unstable blue lasers. Okay, there has to be a circuit box you can break to shut them off. All right. Slay Queen 32. Sup, Slay King. What's poppin'? You have to make it quick, though. I'm still on stream. Literally. Oh, I didn't say anything, but she's responded. Oh, uh, yes, the painter. I need to pay her. Okay, give me a sec. Can't wait to see my portrait. It's going right behind me so people can stream on stream can see it. Sure. This should suffice. 
A shout out on my channel is all she really needs to kick off her career. Congratulations. Whoa, I found exposure books. Worth nothing, of course. Uh, I made those exposure books myself. They kind of remind me of those chore coupons you would make for your parents as a kid. All right, so I got... Oh, shit. Oh, that's the fucker who killed me just now. Right, Star Painter. Oh, thank the moosh. The fuck that is. I was trying to play it cool when she stopped talking to me. I have so many bills now. Rent, food. Wait, what's this? E exposure bucks. Wait, can I buy anything with this? No. Welp, uh, I gotta figure something out now. Here, take this extra hat. I have no money to give you anyways. This is all I've got. Oop, time's running out. Um, uh, come on, get in the fucking lift. Oh, right, those, those blue lasers over there. Get some cash or something. Kill him. And then slip. Ah! I thought I'd done that. Right, something's up here. So, oh. <laughs> okay. Ah, twin number one. Parsnip. I'm all set up. Come over here. Do you know what? I don't care. All right, okay. Let's try. Hello, Tumshi. Good for you to stop by. As you know by now, my brother and I... Oh, we've been through all this. Not doing this again. Come on. Ah, it's this one. Sorry. Wrong identical twin. Listen, partnip. Partnip. Parsnip. We've got the means of making new weaponry now. I'm all set up. I'm all set up. Uh -huh. All right, let me put it this way. All you got to do is bring me some of those crummy weapons you find in the bank and I'll make better ones. Go check out my blueprint board to see the genius behind it. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, weapon research level one. <clears throat> blah blah blah. Don would be proud of you, but he would want, but he would be more proud of you if you had cooler guns. Okay. Ah, Tumshi, great timing. Come here. Those twerps in the bank are using some pretty rudimentary weapons made out of clumps of dirt or crusty old junk. We'll be using refined weapon metals, parsnip. It's going to give us the upper hand. Can't research, can't research. So what's the fucking point of bringing me here then? Task completed. Okay. And that, ladies and gents, is all of the time I'm prepared to put into whatever this is supposed to be. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, th this might be a cool, fun little game for people who went into cool, fun little games. Not really for me, i got to be honest. Uh, far too much reading, which I guess, you know, is a great way of not spending any money on voice actors i understand these small budget games gotta cut costs and what have you um but as i've said before time and time again over the years if i wanted to read a book i'd read a book so there we are some of the music's quite good the artwork is a little bit uh, okay could be a bit better something to be better readable shall we say then i think some of it's a bit intentionally rubbish when it doesn't need to be really 
we all know the state of gaming these days and how good it can be. And I like the idea of reverting back to something that's a little bit retro for, for fun's sake. But if that's the case, then don't make it as difficult and as in-depth as a, a more modern game then. I don't think those two like those two sort of mediums don't mix for me. Well, not for me anyway, because I'm gonna turn it off now and I'm never gonna play it ever ever again right the video is going to end now goodbye